Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be answering a question uh, that I got on one of the statements that I mentioned in one of my past videos, and just simply why I don't upload to Toastadora. And if you guys are familiar um, with my channel, my whole essence on YouTube, when I talk about print on demand, I'm pretty much gung ho and motivated and inspired to post pretty much everywhere. There's really not a place that I'll ever say, you know what, uh, I won't put effort into this or I won't work on this or something like that. And you guys know me, I'm always pushing for the platforms that even a lot of other creators hate. I'll give you an example. Redbubble is one of them. T Public. You have Zazzle. You have Society6. I mean, the list goes on and on. And I'm always the type of guy that will push for to you know the opportunity to work hard, the opportunity for success. And um, you guys see it literally on the screen. The reason why I don't post to Toastadora, and I wouldn't spend any time doing it, other than the fact that I have literal blogs that are bigger than the whole entire company, Toastadora. Uh, but. And I'm not saying that with pride, I'm just simply stating a fact. They don't generate enough organic traffic for, for me to spend my time on there. And um, if I really wanted to find a place to host my designs and get sales, well, I have my own websites for that, right? Um, Toastadora, in its truth, in its truth, generates about 2,000 visitors a month. You could see here organic traffic, 2,000 visitors a month. Um, it's it doesn't generate enough organic traffic for me to put my energy in to build up the company to, to to do promotion on Instagram on Pinterest towards the designs that I create there it's just simply not worth it every time i upload to a company like redbubble or t public or zazzle or society6 and so on i'm looking for the opportunity to post a design and get seen by a large group of organic visitors. Now, I only know that happens through time, through sales, through essentially working the platform so I can eventually reap the results of their organic following, of their organic base. If I don't reach that top of the algorithm, page one, get seen by the customers, I'm not going to be able to take those benefits home. If I even build myself on Toastadora and I promote myself through Instagram and things like that and I generate a lot of sales to the platform, the the rate of return on that is not much because if the website itself is generating about 2,000 visitors a month, right, and they um and and we're talking about organic 2000 visitors we're not talking about the 40000 people that watch a youtube video when a creator talks about toastadora and then go uh, sign up for the platform we're not talking about that we're talking about purely organic results meaning what keywords do they rank for and i'll show you words that they rank for here and we'll go over that in just a second but um, we're talking purely organic. If I if I climb the ranks, how many sales can I really get? And we'll explain that in just a second. So if you look over here to the left-hand side, I want to make sure you guys are actually seeing this. Yeah, you guys are seeing this. These are the key words and their positions that Toastadora currently ranks for. Uh, so you have the word B and then space Beyonce, Beyonce in position 89 with 165,000 search volume. You have the keyword uh, Draft Punk T. Seven, position 73, 135,000 search volume. Um, position 73, guys, I mean, people don't even visit the second page of Google anymore. They're definitely not going to go to position 73 to find uh, a design or a link to click on. And the list goes on and on. I don't have to read all of these, but Poetic Gypsy, position 50, uh, 12,100. Now, some of you might ask me, why does it say your position? My position, this is not my website, Toastadora. I don't own website, Toastadora, but I have a software where I can put in the name of the site as if it's my own, and it will tell me every single keyword that it ranks for and what position it ranks for, right? So it says here, shirts for Thanksgiving, position of Toastadora is 57, uh, and the keyword gets 12,100 search volume a month. So these are examples as to why I don't upload to the platform. And like I said, if I'm going to put my energy into something, I want to make sure I'm going to gain a return long down the road. I'm not dis I'm not trying to demotivate you guys from uploading there. I'm just simply stating the facts. And like I said, if I'm going to put my energy into something, I want to make sure it's worth it. And I want to make sure that I'm getting paid to do so later down the road. One of the reasons that... Um, 
uh, Merch by Amazon was such a win for me is because I would create designs on Merch by Amazon, and then what I would do is I would use the Instagram tool to automate my growth on Instagram. Then I would get fans and followers on Instagram like instantly, and then and these were real fans and followers. They would go to my uh, link in bio, which was the images that I were promoting uh, on my merch, uh, on my Instagram account. They would click on the link in my bio. They would be taken to the merch by Amazon products customers would buy, and they would buy from Amazon. Amazon is literally, literally the most trusted website on planet Earth. And when they would go buy from Amazon, right, it was a risk-free thing because everybody knows when you buy something from Amazon, the returns are such an easy process. You, you don't have to talk to anybody. You just click one button. If you really want a refund, you can get one. So the trust factor is so high. So people would go buy the products and then what would happen is they would review them. And most of the time, you know, because I wasn't the one printing them, Amazon did a great job printing the designs. Of course, there were some issues here and there, but you'd get the four or five star reviews. And then what would happen is that design that was mer on merch by Amazon would now rank not anymore on the third or the fourth page. Luckily, it would be on the first page when somebody searched that for a specific keyword for that specific design when I was doing merch by Amazon. And guess what would happen? I would get now organic sales because of it. And then what would happen is I would move on to a different design, do the exact same thing and repeat over and over and over again, which is why when I was in tier 500, I was getting 20, 30, 17 sales a day on Merch by Amazon. That wasn't by luck, and it was definitely not by uh, the algorithm. I used, used the algorithm, but I had to create the sales first, is my point, right? It's not like I just created the designs and then all of a sudden the algorithm started kicking in for me. That's not the way it works. Well, in Toastadora, even if I do the original work, the, in, the, you know, the work that's needed in the beginning, I'm not gonna get anywhere. The, the site, like I said, generates 2,000 visits a month. I, I can't do anything with that. Like I said, I have blogs that generate over 40,000 visits a month. I, I can't do anything with this. So that's the reason why. Um, yeah, guys. I mean, that's just simply my explanation. Uh, once again, I'm not trying to demotivate or, uh, you know, not inspire anybody, but that's just the simple truth. I mean, you guys see me, I'm scrolling through here. Probably the highest. Um, design here that had the best ranking from what I've seen so far is this Shish uh, Zoo Anatomy shirt, which gets 170 search volume a month. So you see what I'm seeing here. Uh, just to me, it's not worth it. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching. Hopefully I answered your question. Peace out. Bye.